Hello everybody, welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey. How is everybody? I'm so excited to be using, and I did get a question on which deck this was. This is a gorgeous Universal Folk Oracle. I love this so much. It has these rich colors and patterns that reflect all these beautiful complexities of our inner selves and stages of growth. It's so unbelievable. So what I'm going to do today and what you're meant to hear is along with these, I'm also going to pull a crystal card for us for an added message. I just feel like, especially with this expansion card, ritual, dance, feast, fire, this is a time of year where we get together with families, we make plans, we do things on holidays, there's lots of birthdays and festivities in the U.S. for Thanksgiving, Christmas. How do you want everything to play out and what do you want to contribute and what kind of energy do you want to bring? Remember that you attract what you put out energetically to the universe intentionally and unintentionally. The more positive your vibration, the more you enjoy your life and it loves you back. Stay conscious about where you go and what you choose to participate in, who you spend time with, all of that and really tap into that gratitude. When we're grateful for everything and everyone we have in our life, good people surround us, great opportunities happen for us. We need to know we always are supported and we thrive. So have fun, listen to music, create beautiful rituals. And also I feel like condense and delete certain things. If you have 10 things on your to-do list that you think for the holidays or each weekend coming up, cut out half of it. Like we always over saturate our list of who we think we have to see, where we have to venture out into, what we have to purchase. Really start early and do yourself a favor and kind of blueprint out something for yourself and go, yeah, this is really what would make me feel good about this season. And today as well, like what would make you feel good? So here's the stone that we have. We have blue sodalite. This is grounded intuition. So this supports healing with mental disorders, calms panic attacks and mania, cools fevers and treats calcium deficiencies, addresses metabolic imbalances. I wanna go down to the emotional qualities because combining energies from the earth with the third eye awareness for grounded psychic, mental and emotional wisdom, enhancing rationality and deep thought provides an emotional anchor and supports one ability to live authentically. I am one with the earth and sky. I just love that so much. And that's something I definitely feel like when we slow down, we know, hey, what ritual should I partake in? What people should I socialize with for that good, happy energy? You know, there there is that bouncy, alive, fun energy, you know, like you see in golden retrievers. There are places that hold that. There are people. And us ourselves can become that when we are conscious of the energy we're putting out and we have gratitude all of a sudden ah it's lovely but also it's like pursuing our peace and sometimes it takes courage and commitment but it also takes consistency to say oh yeah I I do partake in that and that doesn't help me I might meander through too many shops and get like this impulsive spending and then I kind of have regret over it and the crazy lighting and the people it's almost like a, a hyper adrenalized self but we're looking for peace and contentment and balance when it comes to this beautiful sovereign energy right transformation visualization sacred ancestors so visualize yourself in a place before you go there with a person before you see them with an event before you attend it and feel what the energy would feel like right and then take slow movements towards that envision it more and more Do, will it feel light and bouncy and happy and will it feel like it integrates what you want it to because i love this 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 white how light and i feel like i love this stone it's so calming and soothing this is about the emotional qualities is calming and cooling it absorbs and clears negativity it brings emotional balance it softens angers and emotional turmoil it quiets the mind relieves insomnia brings perspective inner peace patience and soothing and of course with anything else you know this is not like medical in place of medical things like if you have insomnia you don't just hold a piece of white how light of course we're using you know common sense but this comes with practices and i do feel it is a super soothing stone and when we are soothed and when we are feeling calm we are in our sovereignty right we don't react we respond calmly 
Um, and then also when we're in doubt, we pause, we have self-compassion, we let all the noise quiet down, and we realize, hey, we already we have everything that we need to succeed, feel happy. And life isn't really going to change until we change our mindset. And healing is definitely essential to happiness and to just say, hey, I, I just released this. You know, I'm going to look into it. If there's an area of my life and something keeps coming up, I'm not going to stuff it down. I'm going to take a look at it. That's what sovereignty does. I need to look at the whole land and the whole format, right? And the whole landscape in front of me and see what I need. And I want to expect good things and I'm going to be able to do that. <clears throat> so I'm going to have a quick sip of water and then we're going to go to empowerment. This is one of my favorite cards. Okay, empowerment, expansion, together, prosper, divine. When we work with our highest divine self, our highest vibrational self, we will receive the best life has to offer. We will have courage. We will have loving. We will have healing. We will have happiness. We stay hopeful and we we let ourselves expand. We don't stay in a smaller comfort zone. We don't get my, you know, myopic vision and we have gorgeous present moment awareness. And I had to pull myself back in a lot, which happens on Sundays for a lot of us, right? We know the for a lot of people, a traditional work week will commence on Monday. For me, that's my gathering and organization day because it's the one day where I don't necessarily have to drive anywhere other than the gym and I my day is my own and I can structure it. But professionally, I like to like be empowered by saying, I can construct it any way that I want. You know, there's no format. I can do what I want. But I know a lot of people get the Sunday like, ah, uh, I want to be able to relax. And, and we really have to pinpoint what is true re relaxation for us. Sometimes Netflix and chill for a while, reading a book, music. I love just sitting and looking out a window and, and listening to calming music. It helps me slow everything down. You know, absence of plans for a moment, slow, slow, slow. And then I feel like I can expand into the week and what I might want to bring in. What kind of energy do I want to bring in the week? And then I'll set intentions for today and tomorrow. What's your intention for today? Mine is to have contentment, silliness, family time, and just relaxation. So this is what I love about mental focus. Blue Sapphire, I love this. Now, this stimulates the third eye and throat chakras, eliminates negative energies from one's aura, supports good health and well-being, eases insomnia. A lot of blue stones do this, calms overactivity in the body and provides protection. But the emotional qualities bring serenity, generosity, optimism, confidence, helps resolve conflicts, supports healing from depression and alleviates mental and emotional blockages, encourages free expression and loyalty, increases psychic vision and ESP. I am very attracted to blue stones just due to the fact that I do feel like they have this this wonderful throat chakra effect where you have free expression, but also mental, like mental clarity. And that starts with slowing. When you think of blue, just think of lakes and water and, and clear clarity where you can see through, right? It's calming. I love the idea and, and any video I ever see that's like near one of those gorgeous lakes where you can see, like Switzerland has a lot of these, you can see the stones, this blue green water, you see the stones underneath, you see the fish, you see everything, that kind of clarity. Because sometimes our clarity gets fogged up with other people's wants, needs, and agendas, right? And this helps us say, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to supersede my wants and needs and contentment and normalcy and balance to make somebody else's life more um, easy, like not putting yourself out, again, inconveniencing yourself to convenience other people, which people will a lot of times have this natural people-pleasing predicament, especially around the holidays. They think, well, if the more giving I am, the, you know, the, no, generosity is one thing, but if you're, if you're not at an ace of cups where you're overflowing and you have that extra to give, wait till you get there. Okay. You don't want to be kind of at that halfway point and you're like, oh, okay, well, I'll give them another 25%. So everybody else has 75% and you have 25%. No, you want to be at a hundred ready up, geared up to be able to do that. And you know, I feel like people really respect too, like, uh, that's a hard pass, you know, like I need to rest this day. I need to do that. I would love to get together, but on another day, you know, people respect that they know where they stand with you. It's like, this is just really standing up and feeling empowered. You know, no wishy-washy, no whatever. But also you can take a pause and say, hey, you know, I don't know if that date really works for me. Let me look at my calendar and I'll get back to you. Things of that nature, because what happens if sometimes people 
they can they think okay well i'm going to push and push and push and then you get agitated and you might have some resentment but you haven't really said a hard no or this is what i require and i will get back to you on this you know so this is being really clear and mental focus will help with that what would you prefer to do? What day really works for you? What time really works for you? You know, what place, restaurant, what do you really want to do? And that's what's important. When we're empowered, we ask for what we want. And then things come out balanced, you know, and that also has to do with sovereignty, which I love, because then you're connected to your sovereignty. And, you know, you feel like you have that inner fire that's burning. And everybody prospers when people are clear and honest and pretty much concise about their wants and needs. And no kind of waffling. I feel like it is time right now. You're going to move past asking for what you want and start thanking the universe for that. If you expect a positive outcome and you believe it'll happen for you, put power into your words and your thoughts and your actions and watch it show up. So my beauties, that is what you are meant to hear today. I hope you are having a great weekend and I'm going to go up for love and light.